Hi, and welcome to the Crafting Twins. Today we're going to make these mini paperweights. They're beautiful and a fun way to express your crafting. Let's get started. So you'll all need you'll need is little mini stones that are clear, or you can get them in blue or green, whatever color you want. We prefer clear because it shows up better. We got these from our local dollar store. And yeah. what everybody has, nail so, polish. You can use crackle, any color silver, you want. just any color of your favorite colors, any color you want. And you'll need a cup of water, a disposable cup, of course. Let's get started. So, what you'll need is a cup of water, like we said, nail polish, and a disposable cup. What you're going to do is you're going to test your water, make sure it's all nice. And then you're going to get a clear coat nail polish. You're going to get your clear coat nail polish. You can use any color you want. We just prefer clear coat because it doesn't show. And we're going to make a film. Just dab some of the water, just dab some of the clear coat into your water, and should you should see this rainbow outside of the film, and that is showing that it is a film. But if you don't see that, it's either invisible or you didn't add, or you didn't add it, and you thought you did. So what you're going to do now is add your, your colors in the your film. nail polish. And you're going to add your colors into the film. Just drop it on. And make sure you get it close to you together so you can actually get it on the stone. Just gonna do a little more. But we have some silver in there, right? That's what I love. And if you don't like one of the dots or lines or any pattern that you did, just you take your just take your nail polish and dab it against the dot and it should remove the dot that's pretty cool trust me it is so after you have your pattern you're going to take the back of the stone this side's flat this side is rounded you're going to take the back of the stone which is the flat side and press it on the colors it should turn out as a really pretty pretty stone that's a paperweight it's really pretty. They should turn out like this, kind of. But it's your pattern. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a back base. So I would add, add a black or a silver. You can even add a pink. Or it doesn't just really, it just really doesn't matter. I'm going to take your colored nail polish. I'm using a silver. And you're going to go to the paint. back of the stone and paint over it after, the, after your pattern is dry. It may take not all night, but it is totally worth it. It will it will glide smoothly. It should glide smoothly when you have when it's you know completely dry. So we will let that sit and move on to our next design. So this, if you will need water for this, you'll just need your clear beads and your nail polish. You're going to paint on your own design. You're going to take a clear bead. And paint on the back just like you would the water drop technique. Except you just take your clear back, clear stone back, and then just paint your own design. Like this the other day, I painted a snowman and I gave it to my mom. So, you're just going to do a random dotting. You can do lines, stripes, peacock feathers, whatever pattern you really want to do. And if, you're, and if you feel really into it, take a toothpick. And you can do the little design dots for the snowman, or you could draw a little kitty on there. It's just really, it's up to you. So we're going to do our designs. And if you don't want a back coat, just that's okay, because it's a, it's a paperweight. It's your own design, so. Now, I would suggest doing a clear coat on the back of your designer after it's dry, so it'll stay on better and it'll be flat and smooth. And then you can just take your own colors and do a back base instead of that clear coat. So I'm going to scooch in here and get this color right here. And it might take all night, like we said, to let it dry with both techniques. It just really depends on your pattern, what your polish is, what kind it is. If it's a fast drying polish, it shouldn't take long. It just needs to get to to adapt to the air because it's a nail polish just like your nails 
like usually when you have a fast drying nail polish, it does take a, it does it doesn't take long to dry at all. This may take a little bit more because it's not a nail, but it is so totally worth it. I'm using a gold by Pro. It's an ultra shine. I'm using crackled, but I'm just dotting it on there because it's a really gorgeous blue. It is electric blue. And I love to, this. And I am going to take my purple. And I'm going to just dot that because I really like the dotting effect. And like I said just the other day, I made a snowman. It really just gives it that poppy effect. It's fun, it's easy, and you can do it with anyone. Just make sure you ask your parent. And if you need help, just don't be afraid to ask. And we'll just take some other colors and get onto it. So this is what mine turned out to be. And, and I'll do a back base for it. This is what mine turned out to be. I think I may just leave this like it is. You can I'm just leave it or do a back base. That's what you love about painting on your own pattern. Or you can do the water drop technique. Like if you it have really a friend swirl. that collects paperweights, you can tell them that you know how to make paperweights. So you can just do your own de de design. Decision they'd like or whatever. Like if they like peacocks, you can do peacock feathers. It's just really easy to do peacock feathers. And if they like snowmen or they like hearts, you could draw anything you wanted on there. And it's a thought that counts because mine, I'm not a very good artist. So we're just going to do our patterns, finish them up, let them dry, do a back base and you are done. done.